egg I just came up on a school of hunting this bass and I've always wanted to catch one on a spoon and I hope to God today is the day and I'd love to get big fish take home a check and if I was going to do big fish I think this would be the way give this place about five more minutes had a nice short strike on the wacky style worm with the Yamamoto with the nail weight well we are on this side of the lake now and I will tell you one thing with pedaling and using the trolling motor I'm exhausted it's a lot of work but I'm hoping it's gonna pay off big so you know what uh, haven't caught a single fish only got short striked and man, I mean, it'd be easy to say, I quit, I'm done, screw it, I don't want to do this anymore. But come on, it's not the way. That's not the competitive spirit, you know. It's not always going to be, you are be number one, top ten, unless you're, you know, the top ten guys. And you're talking about people who've been doing this for years with tons of experience. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can even catch one for the day. And hopefully it's just one big one. But I'm going to keep trying and trying and see if I can get pulled something together. Because at this point, it's uh, it's it's a real it's a real struggle. And because it's Shasta, apparently ties happen here quite a bit. Because what two years ago at the Hobie event, we also had a tie. Um, Tiebreaker is split up by the biggest. Oh, he's frozen from filming. <laughs> for like four hours. Appreciate you sharing it. All right, thank you. And that's gonna conclude it for this three-day trip or should I say four hell of a turnout a lot of people came out had a good time and participated and we got 10 people who came out with some money in their pockets big shout out to Wild West Bass Trail and also California Bass Nation kayaks you guys put on a hell of a tournament and I really appreciate it and as far as for me well as always next time we'll see you then take care